Hi everyone, today it was second day of Grand Chess Tour in Poland. I'll show you a game between two Polish Super Grandmasters, Jan Krzysztof Duda and Radoslav uh, Wojtaszek. So let's quickly jump into the game. Duda was white, he, style, he started with uh, d4, knight f6, c4 e6, knight c3, and bishop b4. We have so-called Nimzo Indian defense. Here the main moves are queen to c2, but uh, Duda opted for e3. Here, if we take um, this knight here on c3, pawn takes c5, bishop d3. Actually, this only benefits white, so this would be a bad move to take the uh, knight there. So actually, e3 is playable move. The threat is not to take knight here. Uh, Vojacek castled, bishop to d3 was played. Here also possible is to play knight e2, d5, a3 and bishop to e7. And here uh, Vojtasek responded with d5. And here the main move is to play knight to f3, but Duda opted for taking the pawn on d5, which is quite an interesting move. Now ed, and again knight e2 is the main move, but Duda opted for a3, very interesting move. Bishop has to go back to d6. Now we uh, develop our queen to better square on c2, knight a6, knight f3, and here the main move is c5. But uh, black opted for rook to e8, which is actually novelty in this position. Before, <coughs> we expand on uh, queen side, c6, and now very interesting move by Duda. He played knight to e5, sacrificing the whole pawn, as you will see. Bishop takes, pawn takes, rook e5. So what was the point of this pawn sacrifice? The point was that uh, white has bishop pair, strong dark square bishop, and a white will pressure king on the g7 square. Bishop to g4 was played. Very interesting move, but not the best one. The point is that after, bish uh, sorry, after h3, bishop goes here on g6 or on h5. Now very good move by Duda, knight e2, knight is heading towards f4, rook e8. Now we have to double these pawns here on a file, <coughs> sorry, on a file. So that was good move, bishop takes knight, now pawn takes on a6, and knight to f4 was played. Here uh, Wojtaszek played an inaccuracy. He went for bishop to g6, but he should have played rook to c8, first um, protecting this pawn on c6. Let's see what would happen if we take this knight here. You may be thinking that, okay, we win a piece, but after queen takes, yes, white is currently piece up, but queen a1 is called shower and we would lose um, a full rook. So in this position after rook to c8 the best move is to castle. Now bishop g6, now queen to a4, knight e4, we can take the pawn on a6, knight d2 and rook f to d1. But after this bishop to g6, that uh, move that happened in game, Duda took the free pawn on c6, now d4, and yeah, the threat is to take here, takes and rook would uh, come to e4, e3 with a check, that would be very strong. But rook d1, very good move, we cannot take because uh, black queen is pinned. Rook c8, another slight inaccuracy, better would be just to play bishop here, queen to uh, c4, and also a yeah, computer suggests g5 and some crazy moves like here um, queen c8 and yes 
but white again and yes in this position even knight here and if we take uh, here then rook takes e4 so very interesting lines lines against again only found by stockfish or computer so we have to take on a6 queen to c7 was played and here uh, duda played bad move he took with the rook on d4 better would be to take with the bishop and here it's very nice line after queen takes on f4 we cannot capture back because uh, king is pinned so black is currently a piece up but now we take the rook and of course if rook, ta rook takes we would take back the queen and white is winning so after that move queen to e4 has have to be played now very nice move queen to c7 and you will see why what's the point of queen to c7 of course uh, go away from the rook attack but now the point is that also after queen to g2 we can play queen to h2 so guarding rook very funny setup for white and let's say after queen to f3 we just castle yes very interesting and after bishop to e4 you would think that okay but white uh, queen can never move because if we go here then this is checkmate but actually we can take knight here on f6 and after gf6 we can play queen to g3 check and black has to take and now we take with f pawn so and this position is totally winning for white so very interesting move but as i say as i said uh, duda didn't take with the uh, bishop he took with the rook but now comes very strong move queen to c2 queen is penetrating in the second rank also this bishop is under attack so we have to go back queen to e2 was played knight e4 rook d1 and here uh, Wojtaszek played queen to b3 which was a mistake here it's beautiful beautiful move you can pause the video to spot it but maybe you've also i mean to find it but maybe you've also spotted in the, the thumbnails um, in my video thumbnail so the move is bishop to h5 yes amazing move double exclamation why computer suggest this move let's examine if we take here the bishop this is a checkmate if we take with the knight then queen takes queen king e2 and rook to c2 is very unpleasant we will lose the bishop there's huge pressure also on f2 and actually believe it or not in this position computer suggests rook to h2 which is insane because yeah maybe overprotecting this pawn because if we take let's say with the rook we have knight to g3 very crazy move um so okay yes we can go back um uh, so what else to do here instead of taking here or here we can play g4 but then after bishop to g6 it it says computer says that uh, white ha uh, black has solid position and it's not that worse for him anymore so yeah amazing move against found found by stockfish but after queen to b3 uh, uh duda just castled rook c2 queen b5 is very strong move now this bishop isn't, isn't lost because rook hangs on e e8 rook f8 bishop d4 now here we take the pawn on f2 and do that play rook to f2 but this was this was slight inaccuracy according to computer first better would be to take this bishop here and after f takes now we take queen takes on d1 um, now we cover and rook takes queen takes rook and we can take like this and this is a winning position for white because we are 
two pawns up or one pawn up I think yes I still can count correctly um, yes so rook takes f2 queen takes rook f1 uh, queen to c2 was played and here uh, do the two queen g6 better would be just to take this pawn or um, I think uh, was there another good move no yes that was probably the best move but here or maybe queen to e2 e5 leaning towards uh, mate f6 and now you can take even like this and what would happen if uh, black takes the queen this would be actually a checkmate so this was another very nice line so after this uh, uh, this queen to c2 do that to queen g6 first hg uh, queen to e5 was played now we are threatening the mate here on uh, g7 f6 queen d5 check king h7 king h2 king goes to safety g5 and here computer says that taking here would be the best and also this check on f5 but do the yes uh, this line is very interesting queen f5 uh, and after rook uh, sorry king to h8 h4 <laughs> move uh, again trying to break a black structure but after this g5 do the plate uh, queen to d7 king h6 was played rook f5 rook c8 and here slight inaccuracy rook to c5 and actually after this move position is equal of course we cannot take with the knight because we would lose full rook and knight is also pinned so we would lose also the knight or a queen so rook takes c5 was the right move now pawn takes queen f2 queen g4 was played knight g2 now h4 and here both players were in huge time pressure and actually in this position uh, Wojtaszek blundered with g takes h4 here actually after knight to f1 uh, let's say king here uh, knight check king has to go up check if we go to h3 then we can take here and actually this would be a draw but uh, Wojtaszek played this move and he missed this nice move um, for white queen f4 check and now black is forced to exchange the queens queen takes e f4 and after knight to e4, e4 uh, white played c6 and after a6 very beautiful move for the finish bishop to c5 yes not allowing black to go here and to protect uh, white to prevent white pawns for, from queening okay but maybe you wonder why we cannot take this bishop because if we take this bishop c7 and there's no way you, you can stop white from promoting let's say here and white would pick the uh, would promote and pick the queen so today it wasn't that exciting day on Grand Chess Tour there were lots of draws only in the what was it fifth round I think were three decisive games and this was one of them but this one was very nice and exciting so again we hope for a very exciting round tomorrow the today uh, tomorrow it's another rapid day then after that we will have two uh, days of blitz so as always as always guys thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon